Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jared and today we're going to be talking about products and attributes and how attributes affect pricing in Revenant Cloud. And to do that, we're actually going to be taking somewhat of a field trip today away from Salesforce and into the diagrams so that we can uncover how attributes relate to products in Salesforce. So here's an ERD that's a little bit more complicated where we have the different objects around product catalog management. We have some objects here around Salesforce pricing specific to attributes and the product object. And so this shows some of the relationships between how attribute definitions relate to the product, what they have to go through, all the different ancillary objects there, as well as how you can set up attribute based adjustments that work with your attribute definition on your product to affect pricing. And so while this ERD is great, we're going to jump to somewhat of a more simple ERD where we're just going to look at how you get from an attribute to a product and how those relate to each other. When you look at ERDs that relate these objects, you may be like me and think, okay, I can then add an attribute or an attribute definition to the product by just making a product attribute definition where I can connect the product to the attribute. That unfortunately is not the case. It's not that easy, uh, at least not at this point. Right now with the current Redmi Cloud, what you'll need to do is use product classifications in order to get an attribute onto the product. And so talking about a real life example, let's say you have a product that's a car and you will need to change the color or have an attribute that specifies the color for that car product. You're going to first create the attribute pick list with attribute pick list values. You're then going to create the attribute definition that then relates to the attribute pick list that you created. And then you kind of have two paths. You can either add that attribute definition to a category or just leave it by itself where it can then be added solo to your product classification. But you'll need to first make sure on your product that you have a product classification that it's based on. And then in that product classification, you can go and add attributes. So when you're on the product classification in Salesforce in Revenue Cloud and you add attributes, what you're doing is you're adding product classification attributes that then add product attribute definitions that relate to the product. And so unfortunately, you can't just add an attribute using a product attribute definition straight to a product, you do need to either add it to a category or add it straight to the product classification in order to get it on the product. And so once it's there and it's on the product, you may want to have it affect the price. So this is where a few more objects come into play. When you're in Salesforce, you're going to need to go to the price adjustment schedule where you'll create an attribute based adjustment. And I'll show that here when you're in Salesforce and you're doing this, what you're doing when it's walking you through this screen flow is you're relating this attribute based adjustment to a product, to the product selling model, and you're creating a few conditions as well. And so behind the scenes, what that's doing is it's creating the attribute based adjustment, but it's also creating an attribute based adjustment rule with conditions. And those all work together so that you can price using your attributes based on your product and product selling model. And so note that I threw in this product selling model here because the granularity in which an attribute can affect your product and its price is by the product, but also the product selling model. And so if you have multiple product selling models, you can have multiple different attribute based adjustments for those. And so that's a quick recap or a quick rundown of how these objects relate to each other. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please like and subscribe and go check out the other videos on our channel on Revenue Cloud, Agent Force, and how to automate your business in Salesforce. Thanks so much.